All right, let's talk about Bell Tour 221. It comes up on May 11th. They're in Chicago, and they have a really, really uh, interesting matchup here with Michael Chandler, the Bell Tour lightweight champion, versus Patricio Pitbull Frady, the Bell Tour featherweight champion. So Frady, in essence, is trying to become a champ, champ. Chandler's trying to add a title defense to his resume, and of course, you know the history here. Michael Chandler knocked out uh, Patricky Pitbull Frady a few years ago, and Patricio was the the young brother that came up and got in right in his face, and you just knew at some point those two were going to collide. And uh, you know, they all, he's also got the featherweight Grand Prix coming up, so this could be a big, big year for Pitbull. But first things first, he's got Chandler, who arguably is the most decorated fighter maybe in in Bellator history. I don't know, maybe I'm off there, but uh, he's, he's definitely in the top three. All right, um, in this fight, the odds are Michael Chandler minus 280, and the comeback is Pitbull at about plus 200. Goes. What are you liking this one? Emotions, emotions, emotions. These two fighters have to keep their emotions in check. On the Pitbull side, he's got to worry. He's got to phase out what happened with his brother. There's just two guys in the cage that night. There cannot be three in his head. Michael Chandler has to stick to a game plan because the Pitbull brothers have a knack for making you fight their kind of fight. And if Michael gets caught up doing that, it could be a really tough night for him. So really, I think it comes down to coaching and emotions, whoever can control it the most. And I think Chandler should be okay. I think he's going to mix a little bit of his wrestling and a little bit of that power. I think there's a part of Michael Chandler that really wants to knock him out. Mm -hmm. um, my pick is Michael Chandler. Okay. How about you, Dan Tom? Yeah, emotion. I like that you said that. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that exact word for the point of interest that are attached to the breakdown below this video or attached to this video. But that is a key that I'll definitely be bringing up because it's an important one. You know, one could say, you know, it, it could be an, an IQ test of sorts for Michael Chandler. You know, Michael Chandler has improved his striking, has only continued to improve it under Henry Hooft. But do you, you know, it's the classic conundrum, guys. Do you want to give your opponent the best chance where he could win? Now, don't get me wrong. Patricio is also a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but he, he's gone to that less lately. And in fact, he's actually improved his wrestling more. Now, the thing is, what I like is not only is each fighter expanding and getting better where their base is not in the striking realm, for instance, but it's that emotion because, again, of the two brothers, I think we could, you know, stereotype maybe say uh, Patricio is the more fiery Fieri. You know, I don't think it would be too far off. And we, we, we all love Michael Chandler, post board, whatever you want to throw in him. But that dude... You know, he's got a side to him, too, a real intense, angry, oh, yeah. competitive, and emotional side to him. And, yeah, and even, you know, e e even uh, supporters of Chandler will admit that. Uh, so that's going to be the big interest here, guys. And the, the, what interests me, though, what I was saying is that both guys, despite those stereotypes, we've seen them improve. For example, against Daniel Weichel or Emmanuel Sanchez o uh, over across the world, we saw Patricio fight a more conservative five-round fight, managing his energy, dictating where things were. Even when he ended up on ground, not freaking out, scrambling his way back to the feet, trusting in his jiu-jitsu skills. So I think he's going to be really alive here, particularly on the feet, on the counter. I think that his speed and his power are only going to go up. There are a lot of good trends for fighters moving up. I agree with the odds. It should be about about two to three to one spread in favor of the lightweight champion Michael Chandler. He is going to be my pick here. But guys, uh, I'm not just blindly going or biasly going with Michael Chandler here. Trust me, Patricio is more liver than these odds are. It's going to be real dicey, especially for those first three rounds. Anytime Chandler closed the distance, I think it's going to actually look a lot like his Primus fight where I was in attendance for. I don't know how it came across on TV, guys, but I felt like Primus's shots were carrying a lot of weight, let's just say. And if Chandler senses something he doesn't like i'm going to be looking to see if he changes level and goes for that takedown give me chandler by decision using the wrestling that's exactly what i was going to say too i think chandler the more he stands with frady the more chance he gives frady to pull off the upset yeah and like you said uh, patricio pitbull does have a, a brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt so there's danger there and and i've seen chandler get in these positions he likes to give up his back. Not that he goes and shows up to the fight with the right, intention of right. giving it up. But he doesn't mind giving it up because he feels like he can defend it. He's got a pretty nice spin move, although that's about five years old. And it worked real well against Eddie Alvarez. Um, but you just got to be careful in those situations. Because I think Patricio Pitbull Frady is pretty dangerous kind of everywhere. It's just I think really the size will make a difference. I think it will make a bigger difference if... He uses that, those extra 10, 12 pounds that he's going to carry in on fight night. And the one way you can do it is wrestle. Look, you already it's yeah. going to be hard to top that knockout he had on 
the bigger pit bull. So just kind of leave that one in the cupboard and say this one was just another win over a Pitbull brother, but it was different. I think wrestling's the key. I think he can grind them. I think he can tax some of that energy, maybe tax some of that power, and maybe stop him with some ground and pound. I think Chandler's uh, ground and pound is a little underrated, but I think that's a good path to victory for him. So I'm going to go with Chandler. I just don't think it'll be as incredible as when he beat, when he beat Patricio. Excuse me, Patricio. It's going to be a fun Friday. fight, though. It is. It is. And credit to Bellator. I think this is a key matchup at the right time. And hopefully Pitbull can get out of there healthy enough to participate in that upcoming 16-man oh, man Grand Prix that they got going on. And speaking of Grand Prix, look for our co-main event breakdown, which will include the semifinal Grand Prix featuring MVP and Douglas Lima. We're the MMA Junkie Radio team. Check us out Monday through Friday on Fight Nation Channel 156. That's it for now. And keep it locked on MMA Junkie throughout the week.